So let's talk about what's happening at the border down in Texas. Because I saw this interview tonight, Victor David Hansen, Megyn Kelly. And he was complaining that these Democrats on the Supreme Court ruled in Biden's favor. Well, why is that, Victor David Hansen? It's because Republicans and Democrats can't see past their political nose. They can't get out of their own way to solve this problem at the border. That's the issue. And he was saying, well, you know, these, uh, he's talking about nullification. And he uses the example, I kid you not, he uses the example of a rare species of rat. The dotted-tailed rat. And if a dotted-tailed rat went into a building and robbed that building, huh? Would you kill it? Well, Mr. Hansen, if history has taught us anything, we have to do what we have to to protect ourselves from foreign invasion. Am I advocating for you to go out there and kill illegal immigrants? No. But if the state of Texas has got to put up razor wire to protect its border, then that's what it has to do so it can protect its citizens. It's a constitutional obligation. Apparently, Mr. Hansen doesn't understand that. And he's calling this uh, what happened with the Supreme Court here, ruling in Biden's favor, calling it neo-Confederate. Mr. Hansen, what was going on in 1860 is far different than what's happening now. And believe it or not, the Confederates actually had it right. They had it right when it came to states' issues. Because they understood, you have to remember, the people who were living in 1860 were related to the people who fought in the American Revolution in 1776. And we had something called the Articles of Confederation. And the U.S. Constitution came from the Articles of Confederation. And then the Constitution was ratified in 1791. One of the reasons being because of the French Revolution. So I'll read to you part of the Constitution where this applies. It's Article 1, Section 10. And there's also Article 4, Section 4. So clearly here, the Biden administration is not doing its part. It's violating the Constitution. Because if the state of Texas or any state is being invaded by a foreign power or illegal immigrants, they're being flooded with them, and you're not doing anything to protect the citizens of whatever that state is, then you're in violation of the Constitution. It's that simple. So get past your political nose here, Republicans and Democrats, and use some common sense. Because I'll tell you one thing, if I were president, uh, this wouldn't fly. Not on my watch. And I would go by the Constitution. I would go by the Constitution. Because that is a compact between the states and the federal government. So these Democrats, they're calling for the National Guard of Texas. Biden to take over the National Guard of Texas. And the GOP allies are backing Governor Greg Abbott. So Biden had ordered this razor wire to be cut. Then the state of Texas, Governor Abbott, fought back, brought this to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court rules in the favor of Biden. Now, Abbott issued a statement today, Wednesday, calling out the federal government, saying it has broken its compact. That's what the Constitution is. It's a compact between the states and the federal government. But all the power comes from the states because it's the people of the states via convention who grant certain powers to the center to protect the people of the states. For some reason, we have that totally reversed today. We think that everything comes from the top down. No, it's supposed to be from the people of the states granting that power to the center to protect us, work in our best interest, while the states remain their so- uh, remain sovereign and independent, remain uh, or retain their sovereignty. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you enjoyed the video so far, please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You can also follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Or find me at X, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed 1 on X. So I've been saying that the federal government is breaking its promise here. 
and this uh, compact between Texas and individual states. Quote, the executive branch of the United States has a constitutional duty to enforce federal laws protecting states, including immigration laws on the books right now. Thank you, Governor Abbott. This is what we need to see. We need states to have some muscle here and stand up to the federal government and say, no, you are in violation of the Constitution. You're not doing what's in the best interest of my state as a governor. So I'm going to take matters into my own hands and do what I need to do to protect my people in my state because that's my constitutional and my state constitutional obligation to do so. Now, Representative Greg Kazar, Democrat from Texas, has attacked Abbott, accusing him of using political uh, stunts, inflammatory language. But as I mentioned, Abbott does have the authority to do what's in the best interest of his state. So if you go to Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution, it says here, No state shall enter into any treaty, alliance, or confederation, grant letters of marquee and reprisal, coin money, amid bills of credit, make anything but gold and silver, coin of tender, and payment of debts, pass any bill of attainer, ex post facto law, or law impairing the obligation of contracts, or grant any title of nobility. Also goes on to say here that no state shall, without the consent of Congress, lay any imposts or duties or imports on exports, or any duties on imports, exports. But what may be absolutely necessary for executing its inspection laws, etc., etc., No state shall, without the consent of Congress, lay any duty of tonnage, keep troops or ships of war in time of peace, enter into any agreement or compact with another state or with a foreign power, or engage in war unless actually invaded or in such imminent danger as will not admit of delay. So if you go down to Article 4, Section 4, this is the obligation of Congress, of the federal government. Let me scroll to it here. The United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government. Not a nation, but a republic, not a democracy, but a Republican form of government. We are a federal republic, a confederation of sovereign and independent states. And shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or of the executive, and this is in quotes, when the legislature cannot be convened against domestic violence. So the U.S. government has an obligation to protect these states from invasion, wherever that invasion comes from. So again, look past your political nose, Republicans and Democrats. I know it's an election year. I know you want to score brownie points and get extra votes here, but you need to do what's in the best interest of the people of this thing called the United States. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. As I said, follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes. Go to X, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed one on X. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. And you know how we do it here. This is where the past crashes with the present. I'll catch you next time. And you all have a great Wednesday night.